Hello friends, welcome to Vitesh Academy and today in this presentation we are going to discuss about factorization. So first we are going to learn how to find the factors of a number. So let us write over here the number 17. So how will you find the factor of this number? So it's a very simple process. We can find the factors of this number by taking the LCM. So on factorizing we get 235 times as 17 and again by factorizing we get 5 7 times is 35. So therefore we can write the number 70 as 2 into 5 into 7. So these numbers 2 5 and 7 are called as the factors of the number 70. And now how will you find the factors of an algebraic expression? So in this section we are going to learn about how to find the factors of algebraic expressions. First let us consider a algebraic term which is 5xy. So we can write 5xy as 5 into xy and therefore the factors of this term would be 5 and xy. Similarly we can write 5xy as 5x into y and in this case the factors would be 5x and y. And also we can write this term as 5y into x and therefore the factors would be here 5y and x. Similarly we can write 5xy as 5 into x into y. So the factors of this term would be 5 into x into y. So among all these factors the factors 5x and y are irreducible factors. So thus we can say that 5x and y is the irreducible form of 5xy. Now let us write over here another algebraic expression say 20a plus 20b plus 20c. So from this expression by taking 20 as a common factor we can write 20 into a plus b plus c. So here we observe that the irreducible factors are 20 and a plus b plus c and the number 20 is called as a numerical factor and a plus b plus c is called as a algebraic factor. Now consider some more algebraic expressions like a square b plus b square a plus a b and the other expression we have as 9x square minus 1 divided by 3x minus 1. So moving on to the first algebraic expression here we have the first term as a square b so we can write this as a into a b and again we can write b square a as b into a b plus a b. Now observe that a b is the common term in this expression. So we can take a b as a common factor and this expression can be written as a b into a plus b plus 1. So thus we can write the algebraic expression in the simple form. Now move on to the next algebraic expression. So this we can write as 9x square minus 1 divided by 3x minus 1. So we can write this as 3x whole square minus 1 square divided by 3x minus 1. So in the numerator we observe that 3x whole square minus 1 square is in the form of a square minus b square which is given by a plus b into a minus b. So by using that identity we can write this as 3x plus 1 into 3x minus 1 divided by 3x minus 1. Now cancel all the terms 3x minus 1 in the numerator and denominator and thus we get the factor of the expression as 3x plus 1. So from these examples we notice that the factorization helps us to write the algebraic expression in simple form and it also helps us in simplifying the algebraic expression. So this was a basic introduction on factorization. In our next videos we are going to discuss about some various methods of factorization. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on factorization on our website Vitesh Academy. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.